Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Cassette Beasts, Peer of the Unknown, Peer, Peer of the Unknown? I almost said it Peers of the Unknown, but no, Peer of the Unknown. So last time we left off, we were in the Witch House, and I believe I need to go in here. Yas? Green Engine Key. ba ba Too bloody hot in here. I'm not dressed for the occasion at all. Yeah. Hi, another archangel. Is this the engine we're looking for? <laughs> Only level 53, surprisingly. We also did pretty good damage to it. Hello. Uh... Critical AP, shine my line to crit. Energy shot. Um, I'll try hitting you with that. This is some good music. Quite like it. How dare you make me guzzle fuel. Is that gonna be your whole game plan? Is just lower my AP so I can't use my good attacks? Might be the case. Just some pretty good music. I've I've dove back into <laughs> looking at the soundtrack for this game again because it's very very good, uh, and it's been a great time. Uh, I would like to get a toxic stab off, so I think I'm just going to use that because if I can poison it, that'll increase my damage output quite a lot. Poison is very good in this game. Any of the any of the dot effects are very good, like burn and stuff. It's kind of crazy, just how good they are. Because a lot of the time, poison's not too great, but in this game, oh my god, it is very good. Berserker, uh oh. Uh, I may want to switch off of Rip Terra next round, or you died this round. Guzzle fuel, failed, poison. Alright, Scarlet Teeth, get in there. Uh, zoomies or parry stance? Uh, let's see, I don't know if zoomies is gonna do enough. We'll see though, you are maxed, which scares me. Zoomies! I think that is barely enough. Yeah. That's fine with me. The user becomes a ghost and cannot be hit by attacks. After three turns, the tape breaks. So we do get access to that. Machine Curse. Reflects all damage and statuses dealt by moves triggered by other passive moves back onto the user? All damage and statuses dealt by moves? Triggered by other passive moves. Okay, that... I, I just woke up, so maybe that's just too much for me right now, but... Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, I see. I see what it's saying. All damage and status is dealt by moves triggered by other passive moves. So when you have, like, preemptive strike and stuff... This would cause it to instead hit me. Because preemptive strike would use a random attack, and in that move, all the damage would be done to me instead. Okay, that's a pretty good ability. Uh, unfortunately, I lean into those passives way too much. Fantastic! Quasi, this attraction is officially stable once more. One machine down, two to go. Ugh. That engine just tried to grind us in the fine pace. You're not telling us something, mate. Is that engine an archangel? Hmm. I don't know what an Archangel <gasps> is. All I know is that something strange happened to the engines here, and now they're like that. I don't want anyone to get hurt. I'll see you back on the pier, Quasi. Bye. I don't trust clowns. Come on, let's get out of here. Fair enough, Meredith. Sorry, I don't know why I just jumped into the abyss. Alright, well, uh, that wasn't so bad. Mostly because it was a lot higher level than it. 
Um, so we might need to turn, let's see. We might need to turn the difficulty up a little bit. If that was an Archangel. Huh. Gwen lady really makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up, if you know what I mean. I mean, you have a crush on her? I mean, doesn't everyone? What? What? No, that's not where I was going with that at all. You're really telling on yourself by asking that. <laughs> oh, that's great dialogue. That is great. That is great. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to now see the only problem with this is, is if I do it, um, I already have it set to smart and hard. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna put the level scaling up just a little bit. I think. And now what I was gonna say was the only problem with this is, yes, I absolutely trounced that fight with, like, Rip Terra. But... Cat 5 is nowhere near as good as Rip Terra. Scarlet Teeth, Charlequin, and Hauntum are definitely nowhere near as good as Rip Terra. So I've got to keep in mind that I am using a bunch of a bunch of baby beasts right now, so that's something to consider. But we'll we'll see, we'll see. All right, I need to go buy some more things. Hello. What can I do for you? Uh, trade tickets. Pink attraction. Here we go. Bye bye. Pink attraction was over here, yeah. It's the fun house? Yep. <clears throat> fun! Oh, fun world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to have fun, I am. Uh-huh. Um. Fake walls. Sure, why not? Out we go. Ooh. Okay, wasn't ready for that. Hello. Are you something I've seen before? I don't think so, right? Yeah, Amphair. Never seen that. So that is gonna be something new for us to grab. <clears throat> okay, um... I will use a slice. And I want you to record. Uh, we'll try just a basic tape. It's, it's, a, it's a baby. Yeah, we... We'll probably have a pretty good chance of getting it. Okay, I'm really glad you built that for yourself, or I was gonna be very annoyed. Yeah, 100% chance, there we go. You're gonna smack, but we'll probably still be fine. Yeah. Alright. You're mine now, Amphair. The Amphair is a little more than a living battery. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Amphair? I mean, it... I mean, the only other thing I can think of is really, really insinuating the amp. Amp fair. Or amp hair? Maybe that's what's supposed to be, like a... Like an amp... Amplified... Hair, as in, like, bunny rabbit. Having formed limbs by suspending scrap iron in the air around its body, it is not clear what, calls, what first caused it to gain sentience. Magic Defense. Ionize the air. What's that? Oh. Wait. Give the target team conductive status for three turns. Wait, that's really good. Holy. Okay. That could be incredibly powerful, because conductive is very, very good. Alright. Plastic knife. Double smack. And I'm bam ba down. Stab, stab. Later, nerd. Uh, Cat5 learned Bone Cannon. I'm good. I mean, it is strong, I suppose. Eh, you know, it only costs three. Let's see. 
Not 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 check Meredith. Check your tape. It only costs three. Currently have zoomies. And like Yeah, I think that's pretty strong. I think that's pretty strong. Hits target twice, lands critical hits. Oh wait, no, no, no. Battery's just a better version of that. So we'll go with battery. I mean, it would be good to have another typing to use. Whoop. Here we go. Hey, how you doing? Elfless. That looked like it hurt. And with you, we'll just do a silicon slash on Charlequin. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're both dead anyway. When we get back to the main area, I'll go and swap in Amphair. Be random. All right. Hi. What is down here? Oh my God! There's a bunch of elfless here. Okay, there's a treasure chest down here, though. What are you? I don't know how to open you. Bye, Meredith. You have fun down there. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be anything around it to... help with opening it, so maybe it's whatever's down here. Hello. Bang. God. I've, I know I said it last time, but I really do love my Rip Terra. I got very, very lucky with my Rip Terra. Bye bye. And that's one more level up for you. It looks like Charlequin is also ready to uh, remaster. Oh no. Um, I have nightmares about these blocks from Super Mario Sunshine, you see? Can we not? Uh, okay. There's a lot going on here, and I'm gonna have a very, very difficult time keeping all of this map straight in my head. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, it needs a battery, though. That's no good. This really is a Super Mario Sunshine level. God. I was I just remembered, yeah, I forgot to use this ability. Completely forgot about that one. For some reason just seeing that jogged my memory. Cause yeah, I totally have that. Alright. So that's something else to keep in mind. That's my magnetic ability. Hi, Elfless. At least you're not, like, aggressive most of the time. Now, let's grab this. Because I need to take you back over here. Because there was a thingy. And... Oh. Yep. There. And let's just fly this way. I guess I don't need to be that careful because I have the thing that makes me just fly out of a gap if I ever fall into it. Ooh, a ferrochrome tape might be useful. Okay. Now I can't help but feel there was some stuff that I left behind before. Move off the lever. Meredith, jeez. Uh, God, I was trying to dodge around it. Okay, we're fine. Bye bye. Oh wow, you can actually platform. Hi. That's interesting. I mean, I'll, I guess I'll defeat you for that. We just get to hear more awesome music anyway. I don't even know how long this uh, particular playthrough of this is going to be. Not sure. It's probably not a very long DLC. I imagine once we go to all the Funhouse locations, there will maybe be like one final boss fight 
or dungeon possibly that we have to go through and then we'll be done basically so god I'm having a really really hard time keeping all these places straight because this is where I went last time yes okay so yeah the right is where we've been and in here puts me over to, to here okay weird and did not mean to come here but hey more xp bum, bum, bum. i do want to get out specifically to uh remaster if I could finish off uh, Meredith's um, little story, then that would be pretty cool too. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to do. God, that place is confusing because there's another break in the path there at the beginning. Wild. Still don't know how to get this treasure chest. It's probably a um, what should I call it? Hiding like somewhere really obvious. Remember what you were doing right before you came here? Like, before you came to New World? I was just trying to remember the exact moment, but I can't. It's like trying to remember the moment you fall asleep. I can't remember what I was doing around that time, but the exact moment is lost to me. Weird. Yeah, remaster. What is a clown's purpose? To entertain or to terrify? Um, tell you what, we we went with the big bad wolf version of Scarlet Scarlet Teeth. So how about to entertain? Your child liquid tape became Blunderbusk. Okay, ranged attack. <laughs> honka honka. The Blunderbusk is able to fire projectiles with its hand by pointing their hands like guns. That's a very accurate aim too, despite the fact that it's always rocking back and forth and also lacks eyes. That seems cool. So, that is an interesting one. I don't think it evolves again, though. Um, so, what I will probably do is put that away so and get out another, or grab another Harlequin so I can, uh, you know, get a, uh, get the other type too. Since it seems like that one's just a choice. Makes it a little bit easier. Luckily, Harlequins are pretty easy to catch because they're just all over the place in here. So, that last... Whoa. Last time I went that way... Speaking of Harlequins... Oh, it ran off the map. Well, I was gonna catch it. So this is what confused me because there's, um... There's two different breaks in the path. There's the one here... Which, um... I think I took left last time, right? And it took me, yeah, up here. And then I started doing that stuff. But yeah, so there's there's just a lot. This place is a lot without a map. All right. Oh, it was it was not called a Harlequin. It's called a Charlequin because it's fire. Yeah, my bad. Oh yeah, that was always the problem with these is that I kill them immediately if I. Uh, do my charge into them, so we gotta be careful. But, that's fine. We can be careful. Here we are. Insomnia. And final breath. Your HP is above 80% and you receive an attack that would reduce it to zero, you survive with one HP. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good one. Actually a pretty good one. Hmm. I'm gonna unequip that on you because I think Lilligator is already kind of tanky enough. Um, but that would be good on like, you know, against an Archangel specifically with some of my other critters. Because, uh, they're a little bit less tanky. Now, yeah, why does this entire area just remind me of Super Mario Sunshine? I swear. It bothers me. Ah, uh, so I see what I need to do here, but I'm just very, very bad at actually doing it. Hup! Okay, we're fine. What I was 
trying to do was to get up on that. There we go. God, yeah, this really does take me back to the Sandbird with its little rotating square platforms that constantly threaten to throw me off. There we go. Good. Okay. Uh-huh. Whoop. Yep. We're fine. We're fine. I can take these a little bit faster than I have been, but... Woodcutter. Toaster tape. Ooh, those are always good to get. Uh-huh. And there we go. Bop. Now that allows me to enter over here. So, yeah, I just thought I would go down that path just to make sure I had gotten everything. Okay. Hit that at the uh, inopportune time. All right. Now we go up here. Well, this did not work out in my favor. There we go. Whoop. Nailed it. Whoop. Got it. Hi, Charlequin. I am not going to speed into you. I am going to try and catch you. Okay, yeah, you're almost dead. But that's totally fine. Let's catch you with a basic tape. And energy shot you. 49%. Should hit 100 there. There we go. I am interested in seeing what the uh, terrifying clown is going to be. Is it going to be Pennywise? I'm down with Pennywise. It also might be a melee attacker. Yep. Oh, hey, it has bad joke. User sells random jokes. This has no effect. But 2% plus XP per slot. Yay. All right, so we can go get that out uh, probably at like the end of this episode. Seems like a good time. Kablamzo. Later, Elfless. Bum, 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 bum. Blunderbusk. Oh, hey, roll again. Roll again is always a good one. Um, I might, since I don't plan on using you, uh, unequip that. Just because that's a very good one. <laughs> uh, peel. Yeah, give me that. I'm sorry. Sorry, Blunderbusk, but that's a, that's a good skill. Oh my god, my... My legs. Oh. What? I didn't even see anything. Did something spawn there, or is, um, or was that, like, we just get into a battle as soon as we press the button? Because I didn't see Maybe I'm just crazy and I just totally missed the thing I was looking straight at. It would not be the first time. There we go. I think something may have spawned, like, right on me. So where, how, how do we, how do we open this? It's obviously hitting this. No. Okay. Hmm. Is it something to do with this over here? Because I can totally make it over here. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Whoop. And then we just fly back. So that's how we get it. Whoop. Charlequin, please go away. Oh god, you're coming with me. It's okay. Prize ticket, run. <sighs> Charlequin, I was trying to let you live. Oh wow, there's two of them. Why didn't I run into this one when I was trying to catch them? That would have been great. That would have been totally fantastic. Bam, 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 ba -dam. All right. Good stuff. In you go. So, now that we've done that... Yay! Do I have uh, another Archangel to fight? 
I think I do. Ugh, this heat. Hi. I think my phone just fell out of my pocket. Infernal Engine Rose Chaos Machine. I do always like how uh, the Archangels have like different des uh, designs and like um, art styles associated with them. You know, we could just have some fun and go ahead and fuse for this one. Cause the this art tech is one. Rip five. Toxic stab, which gives me enough to do Zeus. Of course, you're already poison. Oh wait, you're you're made. I made you a poison type. Whoops. Glitter bomb. Adorable. Oh, I'm so beautiful though. Look at how cute I am. Roll again, smack. Uh, plastic knife is probably going to be enough to kill you if I'm going to be honest. Nope, not quite. Energy wave. Cute crit. And another plastic knife. Probably good enough. Later. Bam, 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 bam. Good. That was still incredibly easy, even with me upping the level scaling a little bit, but I mean, I didn't... I didn't level it that much. More machine curse. They're really pushing that machine curse. I'm gonna be in a really, really bad way if the boss fight of this area has that particular skill. Because it will totally body me. Yes. You've disabled another one of those devilish machines for me on behalf of Brightside Pier. You have my re most resplendent thanks. Um... Surely you could give us some more information. We're risking our next for you here. Where did the infernal engines come from? Well... Where did they come from? Why I built them? They were meant to keep the pier running without me, but that hasn't quite worked according to plan. Once they're all safely disabled, I can figure out what went wrong with them. I can make them work properly, I'm sure of it. Okay, bye. Alright, well, now, Charlequin, Charlequin, please. I'm going to end up just, like, making you extinct, please. I don't want to do an extinction event here. Alright? This, this and Elfless, I swear. See, that's the thing, that's the thing that strikes me as weird. They, they're a higher level than the boss. I mean, I could make the AI smarter, but... Maybe the... I don't think the bosses are a set level, there's no way. Because, yeah, why are, why, why is that thing a lower level than the critters that are currently running around? Maybe I'm forgetting something about the main game. Oh yeah, I should talk to you just to open this. Welcome, I've taken the liberty of opening platform A. Nothing. Okay. I, I don't- I might not have had to talk to you to open that, to be fair. So this strikes me as what would open... ...the thing over there, but... ...also now that I've properly remembered... Oh. Oh. I was gonna say, now that I've properly remembered that I can do this... That's not metal? What the hell is it then? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess they didn't want you climbing up it that way, I, I guess. So that was the secret for this one. Okay, that's good. Oh, we got another prize ticket. Um, I'll go ahead and buy the next uh, Hello. thing. Hello. Alright, there we go. And now we can camp. Uh, let's put away Blunderbusk. It's been fun. That is a good name, though. That is a good name, because like a busker. That's the that's the pun there. Is all of these have puns? Uh oh yeah, Charlie Quinn. So C. Here you go. So add the party. We got another one of those, and we can do another rest. Ah. Huh. You notice how Harbor Town provides for everyone, no matter what they bring to the community. I mean, the locals still have their own problems, sure, but. No one's cast out. Everyone kind of contributes what they can, and if you can't, no worries, mate. Kind of a lonely society, sure, but it's not a cruel one. I can't, uh, exactly say the same from where I'm from. Same. There we go. Cool. So, yeah. Definitely is, uh, a nice society they have here. In, uh, New World and everything. So. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh, end things off here, I suppose. I've already pulled that. Oh, that's just this thing. Yeah, never mind. 
Alright, let's go ahead and end things off here. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.